we are all aware of the importance of communication. Communication person to person within our businesses. We need to talk about communication to the customer. Are we really getting across to him the specific need that he has? The specific benefit that our product or service has relevant to that need? In our experience, we find that there is often a gap here in the SME space. We tend to get so focused on our own products and services that we forget that these are merely features, not really solutions to a specific need. So for me, today's topic is very important and very practical. We'll, we'll have the pleasure of being trained by Mr. Richard Obire and Mr. Akin Odunlade, very experienced consultants in this field. You will also, of course, have the support of your in-class facilitator. And I hope that with all of that, you will be able to leave the course today with practical and usable communication tools and strategies to help you grow your business even faster. Welcome to our training course on effectively communicating your product benefits and to maximize sales. In this training course, our learning and skills objectives include how to identify the roles and principles of marketing communication in your business how to explain the steps to building a marketing communication strategy. And finally, how to assess the effectiveness of your marketing communication strategy. To enable us achieve these learning and skills building objectives, a course has been divided into four sessions. In the first session, we will answer the question, what is marketing communication used for? In the second session, we will answer the question, how to build a marketing communication strategy? In the third session, we will address how to implement a marketing communication strategy. And finally, in the fourth session, we will learn how to assess the effectiveness of a marketing communication strategy. So let's begin right away with session one. What is marketing communication used for? Now, to address that question, we will begin by targeting to identify the roles and objectives of a marketing communication strategy. We will also target to learn how to describe the principles of an effective marketing communication strategy. The content we'll cover in this first session will be the roles and objectives of marketing communication and the principles of marketing communication. So let's talk about the roles and objectives of a marketing communication strategy. First, this is an important element in the marketing mix. It is an effective tool to help you learn more about your target customers and how you can communicate your product benefits to them. Yeah, and also, this, this particular 
elements of the marketing mix can also guide your customers on how to think about your product in a way that you desire. The objectives will be to be able to communicate your product information to your target customers in a way that helps them to use your product in the correct manner. As one of the four P's in the marketing mix, communication or promotion helps to convey the product information to your target customers and to guide them on how to use the product in the correct manner as stipulated by your organization. Communication is an important factor, particularly when it is difficult for customers to differentiate between similar products or when product benefits are largely based on emotion. For instance, deciding on which perfume to buy. For instance, we can ask ourselves again, what makes Coca-Cola successful? We might want to ask, is it a quality product? Well, yes, but who said Pepsi doesn't taste better? You might also want to ask, is it reasonably priced? The answer is also yes, but is this the main reason Coke has been successful? Is the distribution network effective? Yes, but is this the reason that consumers all over the world immediately think of Coke when deciding which soft drink to purchase? Thus, what is the decisive factor in making Coke successful, if not communication? Another example is why did Amstel Malt become such a strong brand of malt? Is it a quality product? Well, yes. But does Amstel Malt really taste better than other brands? Is it reasonably priced? Yes, but many other brands of malt are similarly priced. You might also want to ask, is the distribution network effective? The answer is yes, but is it better than competitors? And then you will discover that communication must be a critical factor in these brands' successes. So, if communication, as you have now heard, is a critical factor in the success of brands such as Cook, such as Amstel, Malt, and so on and so forth, you would want to know what are the principles that underpin a successful marketing communication strategy. First is focus. The marketing communication strategy has to be focused on your target customers. It has to be concise. Two, it has to be consistent. One message, same message used throughout all your marketing communication activities. Now, effective communication usually conveys only one message. Customers cannot digest multiple messages at the same time, especially in today's information age where there is so much information everywhere. It is necessary to differentiate, that is, to make it memorable and different from that of competitors. It is important to differentiate that message so as to persuade customers to buy that product. Communication messages should be complete and detailed. However, the objective and the manner of providing the information must be consistent with the strategic message. We have defined what marketing communication is. We have also stressed the importance of an effective marketing communication strategy in making your brand successful in the marketplace. Now, we will move on to the second session where we would want to consider how to build an effective marketing communication strategy.